How's it guys? This is Farscape One here. Um, this is Dying Light. What I'm going to show you guys is an optimal way to farm the stuffed turtle. A lot of you guys would have heard of the stuffed turtle. It's basically the, um, the place where you can get lots of packages. Um, you get five in fact and it's a repeatable quest. Um, basically this allows you to, uh, as I say, farm again and again for this thing and of course with all those survivor packages you get lots of survivor points and you kill lots of things as well. Here's the map where we are of the stuff total if you didn't know already in the slums. Now we're just going to go into it. Okay, as I say guys, this is not new. There's been a few videos on how to do this, but what this is really, um, I'm going to show you how to do this optimally. Um, and for me to do this optimally um, involves using the grappling hook, uh, camouflage, uh, the ability to take down an enemy from behind, um, and also the foot stomp. Okay, I'm just going to go into it now. Um, what I'll do is use a grappling hook to get to that first package over there. Of course you can run, but it's electrified. Just grab it first package now. Now just grappling over to the switch and switch off the electricity for the floor. There you go. Now we can wander around. I'm going to I pick up everything in this game. There's the one package and some lock picks. And I pick up these other lock picks as well because I do use them for the hard packages. So it's good to, to kind of keep the three that I get every time. Here's the second of the packages. Sorry, the third of the packages. I then loot all the cash registers. There's four of them here and I can get up to uh, 400 500 uh, coins, uh, sorry, dollars for this. Now just grappling over to the store. There's a lot of zombies behind as you can see. This is an easy lock. Will be just to let the zombies out. Um, I then basically open it and once the zombies are out I shine the light to make sure they all come towards me. And then I climb on top of the, the shelves here. Now I crouch here and because I've got the foot stomp where it says left button to finish, I literally just wait for them to come to me and I stomp on their heads again and again and again. There you go. Now, even these guys which is quite nice. And I don't use a single bit of ammunition. You'll see in this clip I actually don't use a single um, item. I don't use a, a melee weapon and I don't use any bullets as well. It takes a little bit of time because you have to wait for them to come to you. But uh, as I say, it's worth it for not using up any ammunition or any um, damage or wasting any um, melee weapon as well, using uh, you know, making them uh, need repairs. I just go in here, if I'm lucky, that there's a big blower upper guy. <laughs> He'll kill hopefully some people, but at least himself without killing me. Unfortunately, here comes a volatile because of the noise. I'll just kill it quickly. And let me just climb up again. Okay, and then I'll continue stomping now until they're all done. Just remember, if it doesn't quite come up, just crouch. It might make it easier until you see the left button. There you go, finish. And then you just basically keep finishing them. Wait for them to come towards you. It'll only tell, allow you to stomp when they're right next to you. There you go, there's another one. Okay, here we go. I think there's none left, but what I want to do is just camouflage myself quickly because I don't want to be seen by the volatiles. There you go. Uh, let me camouflage myself. Now, I've noticed with the volatiles on noise they come out, but if you go near this door to lockpick, you'll see that they come out. Now I go behind them, quick takedown. I've got enough time actually before the camouflage wears off to kill all the volatiles. There's about five or six of them that come out of here. I just touch the door to wait for them to come out. There you go, you'll see the little arrow um, to show that the volatiles are there. Um, and as they come, I just touched off, there you go, there it comes out on the map, you can see it. Now I do a takedown, again, go back, until I don't see any more. There's another one, and I think that's maybe the last, I'm not quite sure, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, I don't pick up, by the way, I don't pick up anything in this uh, clip until right at the end, because obviously I want to give myself time to do that, and I, as I say, my run includes picking up everything, so opening up every uh, cupboard, or um, yeah, every cupboard, every door, every chest, just to get everything. I must apologize if my lock picking skills are not fantastic today. Normally I lock myself in here just in case something comes from behind. And then I just open up all the, the closets. I've actually found some nice um, upgrades as well here. I've got the, like, a few kings actually just doing this particular run. I've done it about five or six times. Now I'm just going to open here. This may take a little while, so again, apologies if my lock picking uh, isn't that great. Um, I've got plenty of lock picks, so I don't mind. But 
but uh, you have to have a little bit of patience. Okay, obviously at this point you can fast forward till I'm finished with these um, these locked boxes. Um, but if you want to see what I get, it's nothing fantastic, but it's a, a bit of uh, something I can use now. Since I don't get anything better than I have already, I just land up um, dismantling it for metal parts. Got a vicious katana and a pouch. You get lots of good money in this. So I'm just going to dismantle it now and get my metal parts, take the pouch. Lots of good money comes here in this in these chests, by the way. You always have pouches or um, jewelry boxes and stuff like that. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. Um, let me see here. There you go. I've opened the, the box. Um, let's just see what's in here. Again, it's something that I've got already. Kukuri, I think, was a machete. Um, I'm going to dismantle it again because I really don't need it. Um, cool. Let's take the, the pouch as well. It's got lots of nice cash in there. Okay, now let's get the last of the two um, survivor packages. Or relief packages, sorry. Um, just have to go into that door where the, where the, the bomber was. Cool, let's just search out. Sometimes get a lockpick in there. Almost always, in fact, nothing else in the door. Now just come over here and there's a zombie comes out on the floor. Quickly stomp his head, or her head. And then I unlock everything. So here's another locked cabinet. There's actually a lot of good stuff in here. I think I, if I remember correctly, yep. There you go, it's open. Let's see what I have in here. Oh, of course, things like cosmetics, but there's also money. Um, sometimes food, but very seldom actually. Okay, and the last one there. Um, there's almost always a gauze in here. Let's grab that, and the fridge normally has alcohol and some sort of food, if you're lucky. Okay, cool, and there's the, the last package. So this gives you a lot of um, stuff. Now I just go and pick up the, the the rest of the packages just to make my um, make the stuff complete. Don't forget to check the two cash registers here as well. That's the final of them, and then I basically go around the the rest of the room, um, just picking up whatever packages I get. And of course, at the end of this, you can just uh, go out, exit to the slums and go back in again. I haven't tried this at night to see if there's any more, I get more points and stuff, but you'll pick up basically power points, not really agility points, but you will pick up power points. Okay, so there's nothing left here as well, and okay, except one more, looks like one more package. And I think that's, um, I think that's it, I'm gonna grab it out of here, and that's the, that's really the end of it. Guys, thanks for watching, this is Farscape One, if you like the video, you know what to do. Cheers.